Hi there, this is Jim Kelsey and welcome to my YouTube channel. What I want to share with you today is a custom-made Echo Base hanger playset. That's what I call it. And the whole intent of this is something for my son to be able to play with later in the future and then for us to be able to set up a huge uh, Hoth battle with the ad ads and scout walkers and so forth. So when I designed this back in November 2020, I was thinking in terms of how would Kenner make this? Well, they would make this most likely out of plastic and then use paper stickers or they would have some cardboard backing. And so I looked into supplies and um, that was, and then began the construction of this on paper, getting out measurements and so forth, of what, how I thought things should look and the, the size of things. Uh, and then began ordering materials in December and then began constructing it right after Christmas. And so it's taken about two months to do and I'm, I'm really quite pleased with the, with the look of it. It's meant so that way you can add on to it. So if you wanted to make more X-wing bays or uh, even uh, across where R2 is here, add some snow speeder bays, it could be done. Uh, so without further ado, let me show you some of the features on this. Now I will realize uh, I, I do realize that there are much more movie accurate dioramas out there uh, that are fantastic. I mean, absolutely amazing, and I use some of those as a basis for this project. Uh, but uh, again, this is supposed to be a playset, so it's not entirely movie accurate. And I use the excuse that most of Kenner's playsets were not movie accurate either. Those of you that are familiar with the toys that Kenner produced that absolutely love them, like I do. Um, you, you know that they were a lot of fun despite the fact that they weren't 100% movie accurate. So let's go through them, some details here. So it's made of, uh, constructed of, 1 8 inch plastic. So I bought a bunch of styrene plastic, uh, 12 by 24 sheets, cut them to fit, and then everything is held together with 4-40 screws and nuts made out, they're nylon screws. Uh, and so it's very, very sturdy. In fact, I'll demonstrate that towards the end of the video. A guy can lift this with both hands just from the second floor, and you can totally move it uh, from place to place. Uh, so looking over here, you can see a nylon screw there that's holding on this front fascia. Uh, you can, there are nylon screws that are holding the, the sides together and so forth. So everything is constructed that way. And I began constructing the lower hangar bay first and then the elevator area, which is right here, and then kind of worked my way to the medical bay and then over to the command center. And each of these four pieces slide out incidentally. So once you unscrew it from the bottom, you can just totally pull that out. And then, you, then the whole uh, first floor is exposed. The roof is totally removable. So you can remove it for play uh, if you want. Um, there are four posts on each of the corners, and you can see that little post where it slides into the tube. And then I put some stickers on that just to sort of conceal it. Back there, the tube's very small, just right underneath that strap that where you can see the nuts there. And then this side, they're very well disguised. Uh, they're, they're behind these, behind where the medical bay uh, area is. So looking at the details of this, uh, I've combined a bunch of Hasbro figures with the vintage Kenner. I prefer the vintage Kenner as those were the toys I played with, but I didn't include all of them. Uh, like FX7, uh, that one fit, the Hasbro one fit the base better. So we have the back to tank here, the medical area, a clear window that I added. There's the spot where Luke would be laying down. And um, back here, we have an actual sliding glass door. So I'll do my best to move that. It's got a little handle on the back side here where you can slide it. You can slide it from either side, so you can also move it from, from this side too. Just slides into that groove and then that's hidden behind where the cupboard is. And over here we have the command center. And we have a bunch of Hasbro figures here, General Riken and the McFarry and and far there on this display center tactical screen and then on this side we have where the computers are I used Bondo on the underside of that like auto body Bondo to kind of give the construction of the snow and then covered it with uh, snow text which you can get at Hobby Lobby the door there uh, the computer consoles the chairs uh, the mats that are down here and the lights 
as well as the transport, those are all produced by Hole in the Ground Productions out of California. Eric Berry does those and does a really nice job and really adds a lot of accessories. Many diorama builders have added those and uh, they're, they're made out of resin and they're really top quality productions. Very little pinholes in them. Uh, and the stickers were made by Frank Diorio. Uh, he has a website there where he shares what he's done at, uh, co at conventions and uh, the, the dioramas that he has produced. So you can download those for free. His dioramas were much larger than mine, and uh, so my wife was kind enough to scale them down, as she is very familiar with Photoshop, and I am not. Well, let me talk to you about the elevator here. So I wanted kind of a, this hidden elevator for the troops to be able to get up and down. You know, again, it's a playset. Although this is not part of the Hoth playset, or I mean, the, the, in the movie. Uh, they didn't have this there. Uh, I, we needed some some way to get up and down. So, and it, it's kind of fun for my son to work with. So, best laid plans of mice and men. Originally, this would tip out when I pressed there, but once I added the snow, it got it caught on the underside. And if I were to carve more out, then it would take away from its um, <coughs> the being able to be concealed. So what I ended up doing was cutting a slot into the side and then a guy can pry it out. You can see that little slot there. Uh, and I got a piece of copper tubing that I had on hand, 1 8th copper inch, inch copper tubing, and then this slides into that little slot there, and then you can poke it out. And then you just use this, and voila, now we can do that. It's got a little clip made from Legos to hold that. And then this slides all the way back. And you'll notice there's a little spot there for the finger to be able to get into. And then we have our elevator. So now the guys can go up and down in it. It's got a little tab that holds it in place for the upper part. And then you just push it back and it comes down. And there are little pegs inside. My wife designed the custom area on the inside of that. And you'll see there's the channels that it, it rides, rides in on either side. Very simple. And there you can see the nuts and screws help holding things together. I wanted things to be simple just the way Kenner had done it back in the day. So looking at the hangar bay, we have our X-wings there. You can put snow speeders in as well. Um, and then you'll notice that there are pegs put throughout and these pegs are designed for the original Kenner three and three quarter inch figures. Uh, here is the Rebel Troop Transport and this base here is two pieces that is hinged together. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, pause the video and put this into a camera and show you how it's e it can easily fold up on itself in the support structure. So here we are, here's the whole underside of this. You can see where the hinges are. And uh, that X pattern is for support. And like I said, everything, the whole piece, whole playset is structured in this way. So then if a child like my son wanted to sit on that with his knee, he would not break the plastic. And then it just folds up upon itself for ease of storage. So now I'll demonstrate how easily this thing is to move. I expect some figures to kind of flop back and forth, but very, very easy to move. So as I mentioned, the whole thing is very, very sturdy. It's uh, heavy, but um, I think this will be bring my son lots of years of fun. Thanks for watching the video.